This video is brought to you by Solder Weld, leaders in aluminum coil repair, training and products, helping the HVAC industry like no one else. Use the AK HVAC promo code and get 20% off all purchases. Visit www.solderweld.us today. Today we are going to a university in town here in beautiful Lexington, Kentucky and we will be changing the gaskets on the evaporator barrel of a 2500 centrifugal chiller. Uh, beautiful machine, it costs about a million dollars to put this thing in. I think the drive alone was like $250,000. So we're gonna head down here, the barrel should already be uh, drained out. So <clears throat> probably the majority of the morning here, we spent me just trying to get the damn heads off. There's probably about a million bolts in this thing. And then from there, we'll go ahead, we'll get those heads off, cut the old gaskets, scrape them out, get some new ones on there, button her back up, and hopefully she should be good. They hydrostatic tested it, I think up to like 300, 400 pounds, and they found the evaporator to be leaking from the factory. So we'll get her done. Hey, good morning. Can I just get a medium coffee, cream and sugar? That's it. Thank you, sir. You too. Let's hit it. after getting that first head on we're missing two bolts I don't know how that happens but I guess it's Murphy law I should be able to get two more pretty easily but it's just always something right have to go to plan B. Man, so we obviously got a little hung up there with the lull. Uh, hats off to that that operator man I, I that's impressive uh, manipulation of that heavy equipment oh man i got quite a hard hat mark there don't i so we've got the marine box set now i'm gonna grab a bite to eat here that marine box is two tons guys i don't know if you guys realize that that yk chiller that you see in there is uh like a hundred thousand pounds empty the end cap that we're gonna put on that marine box after launch is three tons so you gotta be careful with this stuff. You gotta rig things right. You gotta use more than one person. Safety's paramount, right? You know, I feel like the longer my beard grows, the more I'm drawn to eating foods that I have no right eating with it. What is this, a, a gyro? Gyro, gyro? What the f Ow. That's from the wire wheel. 
I was grinding out the channels of those heads. All right, we'll get back to it. I wasn't able to film everything I did this morning, but basically we had those heads already pulled off when I got there. I went ahead and I ground out all the glue and you know old adhesive in the channels of the inside of that marine box and the heads and the cap that goes on it. So once that was done, a fresh bead of new uh, adhesive was applied. The new gasket was run out, cut, measured, and then tapped in with a rubber mallet. That's all there is to it. So all we have left now to do is get that cap on the marine box and then tighten all 50,000 bolts. inside the marine box the hardest part is getting to these bolts in between this marine box and the condenser head there's only like a four inch gap here between it so all I could do is get a ratchet in there and the socket and sweat it out So we finally got that marine box back on, tightened up. We're gonna let that gasket relax overnight because I have a feeling it's gonna loosen up some and we'll retorque it tomorrow to manufacturer specs and then get that cap on. Now I mentioned getting the condenser uh, caps off as well. What the customer wants is to kind of confirm that they got what they paid for. So they paid extra to have the inside of that condenser barrel epoxied and what that does is it brings the ends of the tubes flush with the inside of that box and it reduces turbulence um, in the box, you know, which eventually erodes the inside of that, that barrel. So by putting that epoxy in, it brings the tubes flush with the wall. And uh, I'll kind of go in there and show you. It's just really loud. I didn't want to talk inside, but the uh, you don't need to worry about that in the evaporator because you know that's a closed loop and it's treated so you don't have to worry about the corrosion as much but on these condensers they paid extra for that so while we have the machine offline they want us to pull the heads off and make sure that the factory did what they said they would do and hopefully tomorrow when we get the cap on tighten everything up we've taken care of any leaks that they may have had before that gasket that I removed was pinched and torn um, creating that leak so uh, it was definitely a factory issue, a warranty issue. So uh, let's go check in this, the inside of that barrel. They stick out 
which creates turbulence in that box when that water runs through it. So we, uh, when we're dealing with an open loop, like a condenser loop, that untreated water is gonna tumble around and corrode it. So here's an example of one that's had the epoxy treatment done. You can see it's brought the face of the marine box flush to the tubes and it also protects from the corrosion. So this is what we're gonna pull open over there tomorrow to confirm that this treatment was completed as stated. I got a little uh, alert on my phone and it looks like in 15 minutes I have a performance review, my annual performance review. So I kinda, that's why I had to pack up quick and bail out of there. So, eh, we'll see how it goes. You know, I try my best, but uh, I'm certainly not known as a, a yes man. So I'm not gonna say that hasn't gotten me into hot water before, but I think I'll do all right. You know, you can only do your best. The rest will fall where it may. Well, with that, as always, guys, if you enjoyed the content, please comment below. Let me know if this format worked out for you. If not, it was a real lot of work, actually, so I might as well know so I can cut my losses and stick to other stuff. And please consider subscribing. Hitting that subscribe button lets me know that what I'm doing is right, and it helps the channel out. And with that, guys, if your customers want to be cool, stay hot, and if your customers want to be warm, stay cold, because that means you're working, right? That means you're providing. Have a great day, guys. We'll see you on the next one.